Hopefully there's a fish in here. Guy just threw it in. This is a big ready. Oh my God. G'day guys, welcome to another episode. Today we're doing something a little bit different. We're in an area that has some small creeks and there's a lake behind me somewhere. Um, we're just gonna, I just bring my rod just in case. I don't even know if there's fish here. So I've just got a small two and a half inch grub and we're just gonna flick in here, see if there's any holes and I wouldn't see why there wouldn't be carp and eels and stuff there, but if there's redfin or something like that, I'll be absolutely stoked. So we'll just have a flick and see if we can manage anything. It's pretty cool under here. Just gonna go down, have a flick in here. Looks pretty reasonable depth wise. Hopefully there's a fish in here. Nothing. Give it a crack here. All right, guys, just gonna have a flick underneath this bridge here. I wouldn't see why there wouldn't be a fish in here because it's pretty, pretty deep. Just hit the bottom now, Jesus. I'm actually gonna laugh if I catch a fish here. Literally. Just gonna go down a little bit. Oh, got a fish. Oh my God, I got it already. I got a red fin. Oh my God, guys. Oh my God. That's like my first ever ready. Like when I was little, I used to get red fin. But have a go at that. I actually caught a red fin. I'm so stoked. Even though he's so small, I'm so happy for that fish. And he just choked that buddy, that soft plastic. So good. There we go, guys. Look at that, a little red fin. So stoked with that fish. Look at those colors. How sick is that? Wow. I don't even know where I am, to be honest. And I just had a flick underneath this bridge because it looks pretty decent. And I got a nice little ready. So I'm gonna quickly take a look out of this guy and, and chuck him back. Hopefully there's some bigger models. I don't expect them to be too big in here. I didn't actually even expect to catch that ready but um yeah off you go mate beautiful hopefully there's some bigger fish in here alrighty we'll have another little flick in here I don't I've never really targeted readies but I do know that if you get a lot of if you get a small one there should be some more with them so we'll just work that plastic Just hit the bottom, slow retrieve, few twitches. Same sort of thing I do with broom fishing. Just keep on doing that. In here, there's a lot of junk on the bottom, so I try not to hit the bottom. But just slow retrieve, few twitches. Hopefully there's more than one fish. Try this way now. There's a lot of mosquito fish in the water. 
So these redfin, 100% will be feeding on, on those little bait fish. So hopefully there's a few reddies there. But there's a bit of a, um, a little waterfall. Just in here, it's probably actually, it's probably a bit shallow. Well, you never know. These fish are a bit, they're not too big, so they can handle the depth. Hope I don't get snagged. No, nothing in there. Oh, got a fish. Yes. It's another ready. Looks a bit bigger. Oh yes, he is a bit bigger. Have a go at that guys. A few more casts and a slightly bigger model. Take that off him. Just uh, smash that plastic again. Beautiful fish. These have awesome colors. Grab them there. Look at that, a nice little redfin. That is beautiful. Have a go at those colors. So sick. All right, chuck him back. There you go, guys, another beautiful redfin. I'll just uh, give this guy a release. Really awesome fish. Very underrated. I haven't went for reddies before. I'm not even really going for reddies, to be honest. Off he goes, beautiful. I'm just, so while I'm in the area, I'm just searching some creeks and some lakes and all sorts of stuff. So I decided to just have a flick and um, yeah. Pretty surprised with those reddies. Oh, oh, he smashed it right in front of my feet. Oh, oh, bloody hell. That is another bigger model. So we're just upgrading, which is really good. Hopefully we can get a decent size um, ready too, but have a go at that. Not too bad, that one. Still small ready, but for this little creek here, not bad at all. Look how hungry these guys are. They're absolutely smashing those plastics. And there we have it, another little redfin. Nice perch. See you later, buddy. Fish on, another fish, beautiful. Look at that. Oops, off he goes. It's just pinned in the corner of the mouth. Easy release. Gotta watch there's no snakes in here. I can hear something in there, so I'm not going there. And you gotta check in these grooves. Since it's hot today, these rocks will be really hot. And, um, oh shit, it's a wasp nest. Getting out of there. And what that does is, snakes love to just sunbake and all sorts of stuff. So they'll be in those grooves and along the rocks and all sorts of stuff. Um, 
So in this creek here, actually if I go down there, if I go down here, it might be able to access it. The only thing is this high grass, so I'm gonna go where I came from and then just go along that. Hopefully we can get in from there. Gotta watch very carefully where I'm going. Because this is brown snake territory, 100%. This high grass, not so much. It's a bit thick though, but um, places like this look pretty, pretty good. Looks pretty good in here. So we'll just flick along this whole creek and hopefully we can get a fish. Just flick in here. Perfect. Beautiful. That is exactly what I want. Come on, come out. Oh, something pulled. Ah, damn it. I nearly had it. Still got my leader at least, which is pretty good. Check the knot. Beautiful. Check if the line's worn out. And that is pretty good. So the jig head must have just been stuck around a log or something. So I'll tie something, something else on and uh, see if we can get a fish. Put that there. Make a little loop knot. Perfect. All right, just gonna try this. It's a little pink sinking stick minnow. Guarantee this will probably get a snag, but give it a go, see if we can get a fish. Alrighty. I'm just gonna work it as a subsurface sort of lure. I can actually see the hard body going through the water. So it'd be pretty awesome to see a fish smash that. Yep, snagged it. Damn it. See that? I'm just gonna put it right in there and try and get it out. Without going through the bloody. Got it out, beautiful. Righty, got the lure back. We might switch those soft plastic again guys just threw it in oh my god this is a big ready oh my god this thing's huge i just put a new plastic on oh my god look at the size of this thing <laughs> this is this is ridiculous guys as soon as it hit the water oh my god now that is a red fin. That is a monster. Have a go at that for a red fin. Bloody hell. I was not expecting that. I just put a new plastic on, it's like a black plastic. It's a two and a half inch grub. As soon as it hit the water, just popped out now. As soon as it hit the water, this thing just swallowed it. And that is an absolute tank of a red fin. So stoked with that fish. Beautiful. Have a go at that, guys. I was not expecting that. That is so good, guys. You don't even know how good it feels to just get that fish. Looks like he's blind on that eye. That eye's pretty good. I'm just gonna release this, this big girl. This isn't a platform that I'm on, so I can just go straight in the water here. Take these out of the way. Beautiful. My finger in her mouth. Oh shit. There goes my foot in the water. Just want to give her a good, good swim. She's already ready to go. Look at that. 
beautiful already. Come on. Oh, look at that. Off she goes. That is so good, guys. Let's see if we can get another one. I literally just put this plastic on too. Actually shredded it. Black, black grub I just found in there. We have another flick. That's a pretty much a spot that I got that ready. I landed on it, literally. As soon as it sunk down to the bottom, I did a few twitches and it absolutely smashed it. Well, at least it's good to know that there's big reddies in here. I'm not sure if you would eat fish out of this sort of creek here. I don't reckon the quality's too good, but um, it's awesome to, to release them just in this creek here. I saw it's dead ends. It's got a couple dead ends. So it's only this little system that, that has fish, which is probably about 20 metres of water. So if you release these fish, you can catch them again. Try down here. Oh, big splash down there. I don't know if it's a bird or not. Yeah, it's a bird. Surely there's a ready here. It's deep. They should be hanging around underneath this log. Well, they probably do. They're just out feeding at the moment. Surprise, there's nothing in there. Might have to come back there a bit later on. Shit, there's a lot of grasshoppers. And these snakes will be eating on, feasting on them, literally. So we've got to watch there's no snakes. What I have found with this area, when there's these rocks here, most of the time it leads down the water. And if there's rocks, there's not a lot of high grass. So, let's see if I can manage to get in here. Because if I can get in here, that looks like a very, very good spot there. Yes, beautiful. That is absolutely beautiful. See, there's some more rocks here. Some sticks and stuff in the water. Looks pretty deep. <sighs> Might start off here and then work my way to that little section. So there's literally around 50 metres of water just along this creek and that's about it. And then it just dries right off. It's good with the polarised glasses. You can see all the snags and stuff like that. So I just put them on now and work that plastic. The hell? Okay. <laughs> Little swing. Oh yes. I found another spot. That is awesome. It's very still water in here. Oh, there's some ducks there too. So there's a bit of life here. Hopefully there's some fish. Alright guys, we'll try something different. We'll try a little spinner. Don't really use these too much, just for uh, trout. There's actually a lot of turtles in here. Seen a few so far, so just flick that in there. The depth is around a meter, so even if I'm using subsurface with this spinner, I wouldn't see why already wouldn't come near the top and just smack it. So these reddies, especially that big one I got, was really, really fat. So 
be feasting on mosquito fish and a lot of water bugs and stuff like that. So pretty much everything I'm using today does resemble all of that bait sort of sauce. And this spinner with the slow retrieve and a few twitches looks either like an injured bait fish or just a bug jumping around in the water. That's my theory anyway. Yep, fish on guys. It's going like a good fish too. Just on that spinner. Where's he going? Oh yes, it's another nice ready. Beautiful fish. Yes, you beauty. On the spinner. What a cracker. Now those colors are really, really good. Look at that, on the spinner. Stoked with that. This guy actually went all right. So they actually thump a little bit when you're retrieving. It's just, it's just like head shakes most of the time, these redfin. I'll get the other camera out for you guys. So I just put my finger in his mouth there. So there we have it, another beautiful redfin just on the spinner in there. Just on the spinner. Beautiful fish. Another nice redfin. It's good to see there's a quite a few reddies in here. Well, that is a big lizard, unless that's a snake. But anyway, that's another nice redfin. Another one on the board, that's about six reddies. We got two nice ones and a few small ones, so yeah, awesome fish. Lucky I bring the hook remover. Never really used this before, but um, there we go. One hit just came out like that. What a beautiful fish. Look at those colors. Really awesome fish. Yeah, he swam off beautifully. Awesome. Put a little white grub on. Jigger's a bit too big for this, but anyway. That'll be all right. I'm literally gonna stay here another five minutes and then I'm gonna head off. Unfortunately. At least I got this little private spot. If I wanna get it ready, it's only about a half an hour drive. Yep, fish on. Oh, big fish. Big fish. Oh, spat it. Oh, setting the other GoPro up for you guys and it spat it. All right, guys, that concludes this episode and this little session. Um, unfortunately, we have to head back. Um, yeah, so I wasn't expecting anything. I just sprang the rod, a few lures, flicked around. We got a couple of small reddies, which I was really stoked with. And to get those two nice reddies, and I lost a nice one too, um, that was just bloody awesome. So hope you guys enjoyed this. It's something a little bit different. Um, if you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and put your thoughts in the comments below. And if you're new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you'll get notified when we've got um, new episodes coming. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.